only knew a small amount about the object itself uh, before I started to try to produce one out of paint. Uh, my main interest was the object as a painting as a three-dimensional puzzle, uh, which could be completed um, by making by lining up all the holes, 12 exterior holes to the, to the center, all simultaneously. I like the metaphor of completing a painting, which can then be messed up again and recompleted. The earliest um, forms of ivory carving or bone carving were in the Neolithic period, in the um, fourth millennium. At that point, certainly, the elephant was indigenous to China. Um, and it's a tradition that has really persisted since then. Um, elephant ivory being the preferred medium. The first one I saw was in, the, in a museum in the United States, and I found it to be a compelling object. I wanted to know more about it. I wanted to know um, how I could bring my paint sculpting capacities up to the same level. I pretty quickly sought one out um, and tried to find a way to uh, reproduce it out of paint or to make one out of paint. And that took about two years to produce the first one. Lots of trials, lots of errors, lots of full starts, trying to find people to carve them in their entirety in China, trying to find people who figure out how to fabricate this uh, incredible object out of paint. When one looks at these balls, these concentric balls, balls within balls, the carving was so amazingly intricate. It's quite mind-blowing. It was simply just an item of wonder at how on earth did these people produce it.